The profit stories, profit stories are amazing, are amazing. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you, children? Alhamdulillah. We are fine. We like to hear profit stories from you. Okay, mashallah. That's very good. The stories of the prophet are important for all Muslims. Inshallah, today we will learn about the story of Prophet Lut peace be upon him. Are you ready for that? Yes. Okay, let's start. Bismillah. Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, left Egypt accompanied by his nephew, Lut, peace be upon him, who went to the city of Saddam, which was on the western shore of the Dead Sea. This city was filled with evil. People of this town attacked, robbed, and killed the travelers. Another huge common evil act among them that they were gay people. Before this nation, no one did this kind of sin. This unnatural act became known as sodomy after the city of Saddam. It was practiced openly and they weren't ashamed of themselves. For their crimes and big sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Luke peace be upon him to guide them. But they were very arrogant and ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. Prophet Lut, peace be upon him, warned them about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. But they threatened to drive him out of the city if he kept on preaching. Why did they want to drive him out of the city? Because they didn't like the Prophet's good advice. That's right. He became sad for their action. They continued their gay act throughout the land while he struggled against them. As the years passed, only few people accepted his call. Not even all of his family members believed in him. Lut's wife, like Noah's wife, was a disbeliever. So Prophet Lut's wife and Prophet Noah's wife were disbelievers? That's right! So, his life was a continuous torture, both inside and outside his home. But he remained patient with his people. Years after years passed by, but his people still did not believe in him. Instead, they challenged him. If you are truthful, bring Allah's punishment to us. After many, many years of preaching, when Lut, peace be upon him, lost hope, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to destroy the bad people. So, he sent three angels in a human form. At first, they went to Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, to give him the good news about the birth of Ishaq, peace be upon him. Then, they went to the city of Saddam, the town of Prophet Lut, peace be upon him. Assalamu alaikum. The copyright of this product belongs to Ikra Cartoon Network. We are trying to build a unique and very educational Islamic cartoon channel. Please do not copy and upload it to your channel as it will hurt us and it would be haram for you. If you think that we are doing an excellent job for our kids, please join our Dawah project. We really need your help spiritually and financially. Please donate generously. It would be Sadaqa Zaria for you. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you continuous reward even after your death. You can donate by visiting our website, ikracartoon.com. They reached the walls of the town in the afternoon. They saw Prophet Lut's daughter, who was sitting beside the river, filling her jug with water. When she lifted her face, she saw them, and she was stunned to see very beautiful men on earth. One of the three angels asked her, is there any place to rest? She knew the bad character of her people, so she replied, Stay here and do not enter until I inform my father. 
leaving her jug by the river, she quickly ran home and informed her father about the three young attractive men at the town gate. Prophet Lutzpied upon him felt worried as he quickly ran to his guest. Did he recognize the angels? No, he could not recognize them. He thought that they were travelers crossing the town. He asked them where they came from and where they were going. They did not answer his questions. Instead, they asked him if he could host them. He tried to convince them not to stay in the town because the people of this town were very bad. Finally, Lutpiz upon him requested them to wait until the night to go to his house when no one would see them. As his plan, at night he guided his guests to come to his home. The angels informed him that they had very important news for him. But Prophet Lut peace be upon him told them he didn't know them. They informed him that they were truthful. No one saw them. But as soon as Prophet Lut's wife saw them, she informed the people about their presence. This news spread everywhere. All the people rushed to Prophet Lut's house to harm those very attractive guests. He was surprised to see them. When he found out that his wife informed the people about the guest, he became very sad. She was a really bad woman. Yes, she was a very bad woman. When he saw all the people, he shut the door, but they kept on banging on it. He requested them to leave the visitors and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. He reminded them that their wives were lawful for them. But the people of Lut peace be upon him were very arrogant and violent. They broke down the door. He tried to protect his guests, but he was powerless in front of those violent people. He wished for a special power to protect his guest. And at that terrible moment, the guest informed him that they were the angel and that the violent people could not harm them. On hearing this, all of the people were terrified and they fled from Prophet Lut's house. But they warned him before they left. The angels told him to leave his house before sunrise, taking with him all of his family members except his wife because she was a disbeliever. How many people were with him when he left the town? Some scholars say no one became Muslim except Prophet Lut and two of his daughters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to destroy the most corrupted sin city at the early morning with three different punishments. At first, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an awful sound waves to shake them all. Second, the almighty power lifted the entire city, then twisted the whole city around and collapsed it on the ground. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned them totally upside down. Then finally, he sent the third punishment, a storm rain of stones on the city. Everyone and everything was destroyed including Lut's wife. Even today, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps the sign of this punishment to warn us not to do the same kind of sin what the people of Lut upon him used to do. Only Prophet Lut and his two daughters were saved from the big punishment. They migrated to the town of Prophet Ibrahim upon him and continued to invite the people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He later died in Palestine and was buried near Hebron. Wow! Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was really angry at those people. That's why he sent three different punishments to completely destroy that nation. Yes, being gay is the biggest sin to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the end of our prophet story for today. Inshallah next time, we will learn another beautiful story of the prophet. The Prophet Story If you like our videos, to support Ikra Cartoon, please share and subscribe to our channel. The rain fell tumbling down from the sky like never seen before. Hours after hours, the water level rose. The interior of the earth moved in a strange way, and the ocean floors lifted suddenly, 
flooding the dry land. Stronger, ripping their tents. They hid under the covers, but the wind became stronger and tore away the covers. It cut the cloth and the skin. The strong wind cracked the human body and destroyed it. All the disbelievers were killed, and their body was torn away by the strong wind. The storm lasted for eight days and seven nights.